First of all, there's a lot in the Bible about them. You'd be surprised how much there is. Both blessings and curses are usually expressed in words, either spoken words or written words. But those words are not normal, ordinary words. They are words that are charged with supernatural power. And the power may be the power of God, or it may be the power of Satan. And one of the features about both cursings and blessings is when they come, they usually continue from generation to generation to generation. <coughs> so that a person who is experiencing either blessing or cursing may not easily discern where it comes from. Because it may be in the past even hundreds of years. Interestingly enough, I was teaching on this in Adelaide and uh, we had a dramatic response there and a lady wrote me a letter afterwards her ancestors were from Scotland they were from a clan called Nixon and she knew she had the historical evidence which she gave me uh, a photocopy of that because of clan wars between the Scots and the English in the 16th century, the Bishop of the Church of Scotland had put a curse on that clan. And she realized that, how many centuries later? Four centuries later, things were happening in her family which were due to that curse that went back more than four centuries. Now you can be, raise your eyebrows and look surprised, but I'm going to show you biblical examples of this. So curses and blessings are words that are charged with supernatural power, maybe the power of God, maybe the power of the devil. They are words which impinge on people's lives and to a large extent determine their destiny and most often they will go on from generation to generation even for thousands of years. 